So we're going to do a quick tire shoot. I've got some digital scales here. I've got a stack of tires. We're talking about the question is, Duran Rider. 18, 20, 23, 25, 28, 32. What tire do I use? I remember when I first started racing in 1997, ran 18s. We raced on 18s and 20s came out. And then in 1998, pff, 23s came out. Now the 25s are getting a bit more of attention. My prediction is in the next two years, Everyone will be racing on 25s. In the next maybe five to eight years, 28s will be coming out. And that will require modification of the current trend of carbon bikes because most will not fit a 28 tyre. Okay, right, so we've got the scales here. I'm going to weigh some popular tyres. I've got a Corsa CX, Open Corsa CX TT. This is a 1998 spec. I've got this in Thailand near the Cambodian border. Very supple very smooth tires, a 23, 242 grams. Pro Race 3 Michelin, 23, 190 grams. Not much puncture protection, feels pretty fast, you feel the road. Not a real, f I don't like this tire, other than going uphill on it. It feels very skittish in the downhills. Another open course at Evo SC, 23. 216 grams, so the, the Mishi is the lightest so far. We've got a Maxxis Refuse. Now, this is a very strong tire, a good durable training tire, good touring tire. 280 grams. We have a Maxxis 28. So, we've got the 23s, 280. 329, so remember, this is the heaviest tire, so 28. We've got it in the box, the Open Corsa CX, the Evo. Got this in a 25. 225 in a 25. So you're adding 10 grams pretty much. 10 grams between a 23 and 25. This lightweight mission is still the lightest. But here's the thing what do you want to use your tire for? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. When you're using a tire, what do you want to use it for? If you want pure climbing light, this would be the go. If all you do is fucking climb on silky smooth roads, a, a, a light tire like that would be fantastic. However, these heavy tires, man, this Maxxis Refuse, I'm not sponsored by Maxxis, I'm not sponsored by anyone, sponsor yourself. Maxxis Refuse, alright? This is a really, really strong tire. It's got the little silkworm casing. Pretty hard to get a puncture with this tire, Maxxis Refuse. It's a 28. This is the most comfortable tire I've ever ridden. Remember that 460k ride I did on Strava the other week? I use these. Just incredible comfort. Just soaks up a lot more road vibration. A tire like this, yeah, I could do it, man, but you're going to be like knocking out your feelings afterwards. You're going to be knocking out your spinal column on a, on a tire like this. This is, this is a Strava time tire. If you want the best time on Strava up a 10 minute climb, have a really light tire. But not much puncture resistance at all. On the downhills, feels very skittish. 28s in the downhill, feel incredible. You just roll over the cracks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a quick video. I'm going to leave a little blog down below. Click on that blog, have a read. It has a discussion about 23 versus 28s, etc. So my bottom line tip for me, when you want to go long and strong all day, all night, 28s, a nice strong tire, great for commuting. I've done very fast times and climbs with this tire. If you want pure Strava speed, run a super light tire for every second counts. If every second counts over 10 minutes, get one of these. It's probably the difference between this tire and this tire over 10 minutes, probably about close to 10 seconds over 10 minutes, maybe even less between five and 10 seconds, I'd say. Maybe. I'll have to do a little video about that. But I'm using the power meter. So it's, it's not much, but the comfort for all day comfort makes up a big one, and especially if you're back up day after day after day. So that's a, the that's a tip there. If you want more comfort, more durability, more puncture resistance, go with a wider tire. If you want every second counts, go with, say, a 23 or super light 25. Otherwise, read the blog down below. Add your comments and questions. See you out on the road. Take care.